Today, I'm going to share with you guys my experience after giving an online class. That the entirety of the cosmos is accessible to each and every individual mind connected to the great mind, the great spirit. Welcome back to the channel, Collectors. With the increasing popularity of overbrushing, I tried to give Oliver from Broadsword Gaming a class on non-metallic metals. One challenge. Oliver is based in Ireland and yes, that's halfway around the world. So after giving him an overbrush lesson, these are some of the things that I've learned and I wish that I can improve in my next online class. So Oliver from Broadsword Gaming saw a couple of my tutorials which I covered the overbrush technique extensively and he really wanted to see if he could replicate the technique on his new Imperial Knight Army. Together we thought it would be really great if I could give an online class and let's see what will come up from it. So it was going to be simple. Two dudes, one Facebook call. And all we thought was, if I can see you, I can hear you and that's good to go. We could give an online class and everything was going to be smooth sailing from there. Except it wasn't. Well, Oliver's first attempt at non metallic metal went super well. Proud teacher moment. Here are some things that I wish that I had prepared a lot better so that I could have made the class a lot smoother. Well, I'm ready. Are you? Perfect. Let's get it going. Tip number one, what program to use to give online classes. So the initial plan that what I had with Oliver was to do an online class via Facebook because all we thought was, as long as the camera's running, as long as the webcam is showing, I could probably look at him and his face and I could maybe look at his model and give feedback. And I clearly thought the opposite was true, except it was much further from that. So the program we decided to use was Facebook because it was quite straightforward. However, as luck will have it, Murphy was our best friend and on that day we had connectivity issues on Facebook of all days. And we thought that was simple, let's go straight to Zoom and we had another problem. Zoom has a limitation of 40 minutes for the free accounts and between two of us we had zero paid accounts. Very fortunately, we had a friend with a paid account and we borrowed his paid account so that we could get the session done. Moral of the story, always have a backup and if you can, pay for the account. Tip number two, equipment you will need to give an online class and to receive an online class. So now we have established communications. I can see him and he can see me. We can start the lesson and everything is going to be really smooth, right? Wrong. I realized while I could see his face, I couldn't see what he was painting. Similarly, while he can hear and see my face, he couldn't see what I was painting and we were like, oh man, how do we even start this? Fortunately, I had a webcam lying around and I have a camera arm which I use to record my tutorials on my painting desk. So with this, I set up a makeshift live streaming setup so that he can effectively see what I'm painting on my painting desk. Most unfortunately on his end, I couldn't see live what he was painting and I had to check with him every now and then to see his progress. So ideally as a student, you also need a webcam hooked up so that the teacher can give you live and instantaneous feedback so that we can become better miniature painters together. Tip number three, lesson content. So what we had planned was just overbrush non-metallic metal. That was going to be simple, just another cakewalk. Except we were wrong again. While I was aware that Oliver was a first time NMM painter and I was also aware that this was his first time doing overbrushing. Wait, that's two first times. But I was really lucky that Oliver was a fast painter and able to catch up really quickly. I do not recommend doing two first times at once. Try to keep the topic simple so that students are able to understand the topic and absorb the content as best as possible. Tip number four, receiving results. As a painter giving an online class, I would say that receiving results is just as important as transmitting the lesson to the student. In an ideal world, I would love to give live feedback and to demonstrate on the spot how the technique is done. But due to the medium and limitations, I can't reach through the screen and show him via the model. So as best as possible, I needed Oliver to take great pictures so that I knew exactly what he was doing. Very, very fortunately, we were using the exact same model, the Night Armager from Games Workshop. So while I was unable to reach my hands through the screen and show him exactly how to do it, it was very easy for me to point on the exact areas of what I want to highlight 
and show that he could follow and improve on what needed to be improved. Additionally, as a painter giving online classes, you should know your products as best as possible. This enables you to give recommendations with relatively predictable results so that your student is able to replicate the results as best as possible and also so that you can cost correct along the way and achieve the best results possible. Tip number five, use the exact same model in the same exact configuration. As providing feedback is on an online medium, using the exact same model is of utmost importance because you are able to immediately point on your model and illustrate where it needs to be improved. Additionally, while you are demonstrating your technique, the student is able to exactly replicate and follow the tips and tricks which you have shared so that the lesson is as seamless as possible. So now that you've heard my part, let's go to Oliver to see what you will need to prepare as a student receiving an online class. Having done a lesson with Paul from Collective SG, all I really want to say is thank you very much for making that so easy and so much fun. I myself have never tried NMM painting before, certainly not on something of that scale, and I didn't believe I could do it. Using relatively simple techniques, learning and understanding the light sources and the different paints required to do this is something he really managed to teach me. In just four or five hours, I ended up with a finished product of a full night with its armor, its carapace, its weapons, the brass, everything done and finished up to a standard I was really happy with. Of course, there's room to improve, but during the session, Paul was great at giving me feedback. He was looking at the concept and the model all the time. It was quite difficult for him probably to see the model, but with the aid of things like Zoom and stuff like that, I thought he did a really, really good job. Having the same paints was really important because without those, you end up with variation and that isn't necessarily what you want. Having the same model, he made sure to have an armature equipped in a similar position as well to the same model and same specs as the one I had, made it so much easier because I could just follow along to his light placement. And finally, he explained everything really, really clearly. So I understood exactly what was happening. He'd show me the whole process to begin with. Any times I was concerned, I could just check back with him and make sure I was doing the correct thing. So really, really good. And I really appreciate the help. I would recommend it to anyone because for me, I'm an okay painter, but this has taught me something new, which I haven't done in a long time. I haven't spent the time to learn anything new. So thank you very much, Paul, for that. Awesome video, make sure to check it out. So in conclusion, it was really, really fun collaborating with Broadsword Gaming to bring you some of these insights. I hope you go check out his channel and see what he has painted. And hopefully you get to try out some overbrushing to create amazing NMM results. In the next video, I'm going to show you guys all the little tips and tricks of how I executed this amazing looking Chaos Star on my Chaos Knight Rampager Carapace. I'd like to take this opportunity to thank my patrons for supporting me and enabling me to do this. Only with their support, I'm able to record and paint miniatures and produce this awesome content for all you guys so that we can become better miniature painters together. The exclusive video for this series will be the bloody copper on the Chaos Knight Rampager and I hope you will go check that out. So I hope you head on to our Patreon and support the channel so that we can keep producing awesome content like this. However, if you can't become a Patreon, that's okay too. I'd like to thank you for your time and watching till the end. So if you could, click the like and subscribe button, hit the bell notification icon and all the other stuff and I hope to see you in the next video. See you!